Hi everyone, welcome to Carrie's House. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Tax Neo 2 Special Edition Smart Trainer. Hi everyone, welcome to this almost nine month review of the Smart Trainer. I'll put up on the screen um, how many miles and kilometres I've ridden on it because I don't know to hand. I'll look up on my Swift history and I'll put it up on the screen now. Okay, so you can ride the trainer powered or unpowered. The power for it is there. It's just kicked into life and um, around the sides you can see it's powered up. If I pull the power plug out, power goes off. The difference between riding powered and unpowered is it doesn't freewheel. Um, it just stops. When you're riding it, there's a little side to side movement. If I can, I'm just pushing that with my hand, but it does go side to side a little bit. I always ride it powered, so I'm not sure if the real road feel works, if it's unpowered. I don't know on that particular function. And um, we've got our magnets in there, in the drive. Actually, let's just plug it in. Oh, that hurt really badly. Once it's going, that's powered, see? It turns around. And... Um, once I pull it out, it just stops. So it doesn't freewheel. Look at that. I got my finger jammed in the cassette. Oh, that hurts. Okay, let's carry on. There's a blood pouring out my hand. So, real road feel. Amazing. Oh, that hurts so bad. Right, I've come down this end because there's loads of stuff over there. So real road feel is exactly what it says. So when I'm riding on Zwift, if I go over the little bridges, um, it comes from the trainer, from the electromagnets in the trainer, it, it kind of just jerks. So it's like vibrating the bike. Along when you go in through the jungle sections, it's like gravel. So it will, on the power stroke, um, it kind of grinds a little bit. So it will be it's all like, that's the only way I can describe it. You have to actually ride it to, to fully appreciate it. You've got, on the tax version, you've got a demo of all of the road feels. You can put up and down how much road feel there is. When you first start on the road feel, I found it a bit too much. It was like going from nothing to instantly having the bike vibrating around. And But now very quickly you ride at 100%. And um, actually I'll just video them on the iPad and uh, see if you can hear the the trainer kicking in. Okay so I'm on the bike I've just connected my iPad up to well it's just the tax training app and this is the real road field demo. Just coming up to the cattle grid and that's what it, I don't know if you heard it but that felt like horrendous riding through that. Hard cobbles. It's wobbling the iPad off the bike. It's that rough. Okay, we've got dirt coming up. Just feels like the back wheel is slipping all the time in the dirt mode. Okay, we've got wooden planks. It feels like wooden planks, but only thin ones. Okay, we've got gravel coming up. That feels just grindy. <laughs> and it's harder to pedal through as well, so. And last we've got ice. Mm, the gradient change makes it a bit harder, but let's have a look. Oh, God, my wheel just slipped. It did. Wowee. That's mental. Yeah, not much traction. It's brilliant, this road feel. Yeah, I just had to disconnect the trainer from the iPad because otherwise it won't pair with my Strava. So that's the real road feel. That's the the bit I like about this trainer. It's the only trainer I've actually had. 
I think now riding a trainer without it would be a little bit, it just wouldn't be proper. You know what I mean? Having all those, having the bumps and having the uh, riding on the wood and riding in the gravel and riding just with that tactical feedback, tactical, tactile feedback. Another thing I liked about it was having the power with the trainer. I can get a proper power readout, proper cadence. It's all on the screen. So if you're doing workouts, it's really easy to stay on track and also um, get your FTP numbers up. You can do that um, really easy. Like right? when you're pedaling along, if you're in a pack, if it's like above where you can hold your threshold, you're just like, oh, I'm never going to be able to hold this and just drop back into the pack behind or something. It's been quite interesting for me coming from not having one to actually having one, like how tactical things can get and and like pushing yourself and just it's taken indoor cycling to a new level as far as I'm concerned, both with Zwift and the trainer and the um, Zwift play, which you saw on last week's video. Just fantastic. I can't recommend the trainer enough. Um, you've seen the unboxing video. If you haven't, go and watch it because you'll see all the bits that come with it and all the different bike frames that you can put on it. Okay, guys, that's the review on the Tax Neo 2 Special Edition Smart Trainer. Any questions you've got, just ask me in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Apart from that, that's it. And we'll see you on the next Kairos house. Take care, bye.